Welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, we're gonna do a range test between Dubai to Abu Dhabi and Abu Dhabi back to Dubai. A lot of people are curious to know whether you could drive between the two cities back and forth uh, with a single charge. Currently, I have 83% um, at the moment, and it's showing that I, uh, I can drive for 352 kilometers, which is not bad but uh, I believe I would probably need to charge on the way back. So we're gonna find out. And um, keep in mind, it is summer right now. It's very hot. So I may be blasting the AC because um, yesterday was about 50 degrees Celsius. So it was very hot and the AC uh, of the Model 3 had a hard time keeping up with uh, cooling the car. Before I start driving, you can see 41 PSI all over the four tires. And for this range test, I'm just gonna reset uh, trip B to show everyone in the end uh, how much kilometer I drove uh, from now to Abu Dhabi and Abu Dhabi back home to see exactly how much um, kilometers I drove and how much uh, energy I have consumed. And also this is the navigation map. So I should be reaching at the location of Bolavi with 44% battery. And usually Tesla, I think 98% of the chances, it is quite accurate. So let's see if uh, this time is gonna be the same. Since we are getting close to the supercharger in Jabal Ali, might as well show you how many chargers there are. Uh, so as we zoom in, so towards Abu Dhabi bound, there is eight stalls and currently six are available. All eight are 250 kilowatts, so you should get a very fast speed. But on the way back, there is the old chargers. I think this is the V1, if I'm, not correct, if I'm correct. Uh, so 125 kilowatts, so it's not really that fast. So if you could charge before you come back, that would be great because in Abu Dhabi, you have five, sorry, you have eight stalls of 250 kilowatts. And on the way back, also you have 250 kilowatts available here in Mazdar city, if I'm correct. So yeah, keep those in mind. And uh, since I have enough charge, uh, 67% or 283 kilometers. I didn't need to charge at Jabal Ali. And so far, I've consumed about 16%. And uh, you're gonna see tips here by the car. It's gonna tell you stay be below 110 to save a certain amount of percentage. And as you can see, my temperature's at 20. Uh, to save more battery percent, it's recommended to be at 22, but it's kind of hot right now, so I'm not gonna go above 20 degrees. Uh, so yeah, as you can see so far, climate 0.8, elevation 0, everything else 0.3. So I finally reached Abu Dhabi, uh, but unfortunately, on, when I was coming through Yas Island, I missed the exit, so I had to take a longer route to reach uh, my destination in Abu Dhabi. But let's quickly review the uh, consumption. All right, let's review the trip from Dubai to Abu Dhabi. So I am close to Galeria Mall, and let's see the energy consumption. Consumed about almost 50%, 48.3 to be exact. And if I wanted to save 8.6%, I had to stay below 110 kilometers. Um, 43.8 is the driving, climate 3.2, air conditioning. I kept it at 20 degrees and probably 4 or 5 speed, uh, fan speed uh, throughout the journey. Realistically, I don't think anyone's going to drive 110 or below unless they really have to consume less battery. Maybe they're low on battery. They need to drive as economical as possible. But realistically, I don't think there's anyone out there driving from Dubai to Abu Dhabi at a very slow speed. Maybe 130 or as close to 140 as possible or whatever the speed limit is on the road they're driving. Charger in Galeria Mall is actually packed right now. So I decided to 
look, go to Mazdar city. That's probably the closest, uh, and it's also on the way back. So I'm going to end up having 17% once I reach there. And um, since it's a 250 kilowatt, I'm expecting to get somewhere between uh, 150 to hopefully 250, depending on how, how many stalls are being used. Uh, and expected to spend there between 25 to 30 minutes to get somewhere between 80% to uh, 90 percent i think that's the city center over here there is six stalls empty and two in the parking lot over there but i prefer going under the shade so i'm gonna go in the mall and i have 14 percent wow i just got to the uh, mazda city supercharger in the uh, city center mall uh currently i have 13 percent with all the detouring and construction happening in the main road uh, I was supposed to arrive here with like at least around I think 20% or so give or take but because of all the construction I had to take a long detour now hopefully I get a nice 250 kilowatt charging speed alright let's see it's charging 40 kilowatts 80 139 180, nice, 218, 233, amazing, 234, which is great, 35 minutes, more than enough. Now we have two other Teslas coming in, so I think the charging speeds are going to drop a bit. And now since there's another car parking next to me, I think our power grid is going to be shared and I may not get 200 kilowatts. Now suddenly the kilowatt dropped from 200 to 123. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate. I got a car to park next to me. Uh oh. One more Tesla. Now I think it's going to be f the stalls are going to be packed. So this is going to drop even further down. So how much kilometer I have driven since I left to Dubai, went to Abu Dhabi near Galeria Mall and on the way back with all the, uh, uh, what's it called, all the construction and diversion, I had to take a long way, do a U-turn and back to, uh, back to Mazda City Supercharger. And that all was 206 kilometers, which is not a lot. Um, I had, I believe, 80, 83% or so, something in the beginning of the video and uh, reached here at 13%. So according to Tesla, from Mazda City Supercharger till I reach home, I'm going to be having 60% remaining. Uh, so let's see if that's going to be accurate or not. If you're curious to know what is the sound decibels while driving in the car with wind noise at 140 kilometers, 73, 72, fluctuates between 69 to 73. So I made it back home now and I'm just going to go through the entire consumption, total consumption between Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Abu Dhabi back to Dubai. So, uh, let's have a look at exactly how much I drove. So, trip B, uh, 312 kilometers was my entire trip from Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, back to Dubai. And uh, first trip to Abu Dhabi cost, sorry, consumed 48 point something percent, uh, let's say 50, and from there, to Mazdar, I think a few more percent, but basically I had 13% from uh, Mazdar city and from Mazdar to Barsha in Dubai, 36.6%. Um, but yeah, it seems like maybe it's because of the heat the consumption is slightly higher i'm not sure i was expecting to be able to 
be able to not make it back with one trip. Depends if I went with 100%, maybe I would have gotten back all the way to Dubai, but I had to most likely stop at one of the superchargers in uh, Jabal Ali, at the uh, Dubai bound. So yeah, it's, uh, I think for a person who does a lot of long journeys between Dubai and Abu Dhabi, and time is very, very important to them, maybe this car is not the right one for them. Um, obviously, the best thing to do is rent a car, um, experience electric vehicle, and test the range. And if it is suits for you, then obviously go for it. If not, then I think sticking to combustion engine is, is the right choice for drivers uh, doing long journeys between cities. I'm going to be posting more videos coming up soon. Especially going to do a video for the X plan. So most likely I will be doing it soon. So yeah, like, subscribe and follow. See you in the next one.